Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and I'm excited to share our tour of Royal Caribbean's current, newest, and largest ship, Wonder of the Seas. In this video, we'll show you most public areas of Wonder of the Seas, starting from Deck 4 and working our way up. First up, let's take a look at the main dining room. The MDR on Wonder of the Seas actually spans three decks, decks three, four, and five. The food in the main dining room is complimentary, and you can order as many courses as you'd like. There are exceptions though, like for additional servings of lobster tail, which now costs extra. Between the main dining room and casino on deck four, you'll find Izumi Hibachi and Sushi, where you can enjoy delicious Japanese food and sushi and a lively teppanyaki experience. If you're dining with someone else, mix and match between teppanyaki options and selections from the extensive sushi list. That way you can each try a little bit of everything. Moving forward on deck four, the Casino Royale sits between the dining room and Studio B. Royal Caribbean's professional dealers offer complimentary learn to play lessons for the most popular casino games from craps to baccarat, slots and more. Art lovers will enjoy browsing the ship's gallery to find the perfect work of art to take home or just enjoy while on the ship. Next up is the Studio B area, which houses the ice rink. Here you'll enjoy ice skating shows and can participate in complimentary ice skating lessons during some days of your sailing. Be sure to wear long pants and socks, but ice skates and helmets will be provided at no extra charge. Also in this area is Royal Caribbean's exclusive Diamond Club. It's so exclusive we couldn't get into film. The attic is the place for comedy shows. This is a unique space with lots of seating, but be sure to get there early as it tends to fill up quickly. The Golden Room is Wonder of the Seas invite only high roller casino. I don't expect we'll be getting an invitation anytime soon. Now let's take a look at the Royal Theater. Located in the front of the ship, this is where the world class entertainment happens. As you can see, there's no shortage of seating here. There are, however, a few poles that may obstruct the view. So, if you want the best seats, you'd be wise to get there early. Moving up to Deck 5, you'll find one of the nicest jogging tracks we've seen at sea. Complete with encouraging signs overhead and spectacular views, if you like to exercise at sea, you will love the Wonder of the Seas jogging track. The Royal Promenade serves as the entry point for the ship and is essentially the main thoroughfare. We'll cover the spaces here individually, but this area pretty much has something for everyone. Be sure to check your cruise compass for special events like parades and shopping events in the Royal Promenade as well. 
Of course, the shops are a big part of the Royal Promenade. And while we won't be filming inside the shops, here's a quick look at a few you'll find here. Perhaps one of the most popular attractions on the Royal Promenade is the Bionic Bar. The name says it all here, with robotic arms serving up drinks made to order. Day one can be particularly crowded here at the Bionic Bar, so if you want a more relaxed visit, wait a day or two for the novelty to wear off. Almost directly across from the Bionic Bar is Guest Services. Guest Services on Wonder of the Seas is perhaps the most important place on the ship. It's your one-stop shop for any questions or problems that may arise. Don't be afraid to stop in here. They're super helpful. Guest Services is located at the end of the promenade and they're open 24 hours a day. Between guest services and the Bionic Bar is one of my favorite spots on board, the Rising Tide Bar. At predetermined intervals, this unique bar slowly rises from Deck 5 up to Central Park on Deck 8. It's a fun and relaxing experience that offers a little lift to Central Park. You can find departure times in the cruise compass or on a sign just outside the doors. Cafe Promenade is always bustling with activity. It's a great place to grab a snack or just sit and people watch. On our sailing, it was open 24 hours a day and offered light snacks and espresso options. If you're a tried and true Royal Caribbean fan, then you're going to want to step into the next cruise office. The next cruise desk allows you the opportunity to put down a deposit or shop for your next cruise. There is a team available to help you book your next Royal Caribbean adventure. There's lots of reasons to consider booking here, but we think the best is an onboard credit, which at the moment can be up to $600 depending on your sailing. Talk to your travel agent about this option because usually you can put down a deposit at next cruise and then transfer your booking over to your agent. It's pretty awesome. Cask and Clipper is the pub on Wonder of the Seas and is one of my favorite spots. If you're into beer, this is a great spot for you. But you can get so much more than just beer here. They serve up some mean cocktails here as well. If you want something smooth yet strong, consider the James Bond Martini. Sorrento's has all your pizza needs covered with everything you'd expect from an authentic pizza joint including specialties like the meat-loaded carnivore or the pineapple, bacon, and barbecue-infused Caribbean dream. One thing we like about Sorrento's is it's open really late, so you can count on it for an after-hours snack. If you've got the skills, you may want to take the stage at Spotlight Karaoke. It's a lively, fun place with its own bar. We won't be taking the main stage anytime soon, but there are private rooms available for a charge for people like us who are less confident about their vocal talent. Reservations are made through the app. This eye-catching place is Boleros, a Latin-themed club where you can sip Cuban mojitos, Brazilian caipirinhas, or your favorite classic cocktails while grooving to the sound of a 6 piece band playing salsa, cumbia, merengue, and samba. On our sailing, Zumba classes were also held here with overflow into the Royal Promenade. Yeah, they were that popular. Be sure to check your cruise compass for the band's performance schedule so you don't miss out. Everywhere you go, there's a Starbucks, it seems, and Wonder of the Seas is no exception. If you're a Starbucks fan, you will feel right at home. They even have all the seasonal holiday favorites, just like on land. We're gonna talk more about the Vitality Spa when we get to deck six, but since some of the areas are here on deck five, we'll give you a quick look at the stairs that lead down and the check-in desk. Moving up to deck six and all the way to the back of the ship, you'll find the Aqua Theater. Here, you'll find stunning ocean views, 
live music performances, and mesmerizing water shows like Intense. Pro tip, leave the first two to three rows up front for the kids, unless you want to get wet. Really, really wet. Now let's get a look at all the fun that awaits on the boardwalk. The little ones love the lucky climber. This little netted climbing area is loads of fun and is located right next to Johnny Rockets. Grab a snack and let the kids burn off some energy. Johnny Rockets is your quintessential diner experience, serving up American fare favorites like Angus beef burgers, crispy fries, classic sandwiches, and delectable shakes and malts. If you like to be adventurous with your milkshakes, feel free to mix and match here. The staff is happy to make it happen for you. Directly across from Johnny Rockets is Playmakers. This is Wonder of the Seas sports bar, and it has everything you'd expect, including an arcade complete with a pool table. The food is terrific. They've got all the favorites like jalapeno poppers, nachos, and of course, there are plenty of big TVs to watch here. Now, a couple of tips for you. The desserts here are awesome and huge, so save some room. Also, rumor has it that if you can eat 100 of the hottest wings in 45 minutes, you'll receive a commemorative t-shirt. There's no way that's happening for me, but best of luck to you if you decide to try. The carousel here on the boardwalk is super cute, and it's like a magnet for the young at heart. Here's a quick look at the rules so you know what to expect before you hop aboard. And speaking of attracting the young at heart, Sugar Beach Wonders Candy Shop is conveniently located right next to the carousel. Loaded with all kinds of sweets, Sugar Beach is not likely to disappoint anyone looking to satisfy their sweet tooth. Also on the boardwalk is the popular dog house. From Coney Island dogs to classic American beef, the dog house fits right in here, giving the boardwalk an authentic, all-American feel. If you have questions about Royal Caribbean's loyalty program, Crown and Anchor Society, then you'll want to swing by the loyalty desk. The friendly staff at the Shore Excursions Desk can help you with any questions you may have about activities and port stops. You can even cancel a previously booked excursion here. Excursions can, at the time of recording, be modified or canceled up to about 48 hours prior to your port arrival without penalty. Now the Schooner Bar is yet another great venue on Wonder of the Seas where you can find live entertainment, and a wide variety of cocktails. This nautical themed bar is the perfect place to relax after dinner. Picture this is the private photography studio on board and it's right next to the photo gallery where you can view and purchase photos taken on board Wonder of the Seas. Pro tip, Check your cruise planner for photo package deals before your cruise. Now we come to one of my family's favorite places on the ship, Vitality Cafe. Here you'll find a terrific selection of healthy signature juices and smoothies. You can choose drinks right off the menu or have them mix up something special from the available options. All of the signature juices, smoothies, and protein shakes at Vitality Cafe are included in the deluxe and royal refreshment beverage packages. The Vitality Spa and Salon offers tons of products and services to help you feel and look your best at sea. Everything from massages, wraps, facials, haircuts, 
acupuncture, and even meta spa treatments that Royal Caribbean's website say help smooth wrinkles, lift, and tone. If you want to maintain your fitness routine while you're on board, Wonder of the Seas has you covered with its massive gym. There's no shortage of cardio equipment here, and there's also tons of free weights. No pain, no gain. If you're looking for a more exhilarating experience, then you might want to give the rock climbing wall a go. Technically located on deck seven, scaling the rock climbing wall will reward you with breathtaking aft views. That is assuming that climbing the wall hasn't already taken your breath away. You'll also find one of three astronauts located here. The music hall on deck eight and nine is arguably the coolest spot on the ship. Cover bands belt out rock favorites on the Deck 8 stage, while Deck 9 provides awesome views of the stages, a pool table, and cocktails. Party on, Wayne. Now, let's check out Central Park. As you'll see, this is a beautiful place to relax, enjoy a drink, or enjoy dinner. Chops Grill in Central Park is Wonder of the Seas Steakhouse. Chefs here will hand cut, season, and grill steak to your specifications. It's everything you'd expect from a steakhouse with plenty of unique options like Yukon Gold mashed potatoes, but don't forget to save room for some key lime meringue pie or classic New York cheesecake. Also in this area is 150 Central Park. 150 Central Park spotlights locally sourced ingredients harvested at the peak of their season for truly elevated entrees and desserts. Here's a tip. Menu items marked with a TS symbol are prepared tableside. The trellis bar is the perfect spot to meet up with friends or have a before dinner drink. It's centrally located in Central Park, right by Chops Grill and 150 Central Park. Park Cafe on Wonder of the Seas is always teeming with activity and for good reason. It's a great place to get delicious food quickly. You can grab fresh paninis and sandwiches, including the legendary Royal Kamalwek roast beef sandwich, or go green with a signature pre-made or custom salad. Rounding out our look at Central Park is Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar First up is the wine bar. Wine lovers will adore this comfortable spot. There's an enormous selection of wines and plenty of places to sit. The menu for Giovanni's Kitchen sports mouth-watering favorites like veal meatballs, pappardelle, and hand-tossed pizzas. Recommended desserts here are Mama's Tiramisu or Nona's Nutella and Banana Stromboli. Wonderland on decks 11 and 12 is arguably the most unique restaurant on the ship. The entrance to Wonderland is on deck 12 and if the bar area here feels magical, just wait until you see the dining room below. But it's not just the decor that's magical in Wonderland. The food is perhaps like nothing you've ever tasted before. We don't want to spoil any surprises, but even the menu is, well, magical. Wonderland does require reservations, which can be made in your cruise planner or the Royal app. Wonder of the Seas really seems to have something for everyone, including this card room where guests can play games or just relax with a book.
Generally, we don't film the children's areas, but we do have a few clips we can share of Adventure Ocean, the kids area on Wonder of the Seas. Now moving on the opposite age spectrum, here we have the adults only area, the solarium. These images say it all. Located at the front of the ship on both decks 14 and 15, this place is all about relaxing. Abundant lounge chairs, as well as pools and hot tubs, make this area extremely popular. And speaking of popular places, the Windjammer Buffet is arguably the most popular spot on Wonder of the Seas. We've included a few crowd shots here so you can get an idea of just how busy the Windjammer can get. Here's a tip. Embarkation is probably the busiest time for the buffet, so if you don't like crowds, consider heading down to Park Cafe on Deck 8 for lunch. It's much more mellow. Another great option for Embarkation Day lunch is the Mason Jar. And this is what we did on our boarding day and we were not disappointed. You can reserve this in your cruise planner or on the Royal app. And if you like Southern cuisine, oh, it's so worth it. There's also a bar here and a stage for live music performances. There's so many unique menu items to choose from, but here's my tip. Try the blueberry Johnny cakes for brunch. They're so good. Now let's step outside and check out the pools and slides. The pool area can get pretty busy on warm days, but you're not likely to have trouble finding a lounge chair to relax in. The fun in this area often keeps going even after the sun goes down. So if the lines for the slides seem a little daunting, wait until it gets a little later. On our cruise, there were virtually no lines in the early evening hours. The Lime and Coconut is located on both decks 15 and 16. Not far from the perfect storm slides is the View Bar. This is a great place to hang out anytime, but it's particularly gorgeous at sunset. The Solarium Bistro offers a bright and breezy alternative to the Windjammer Buffet. Be aware though that this area is sometimes reserved for special events. It was booked our entire cruise, so sadly we didn't get to try the food here. There are surprise dishes that rotate every so often at Solarium Bistro, so you'll want to watch for those. Okay, here up on deck 16 is where the action is. First up, the ultimate abyss. It's a 10 story dry slide that plummets you all the way down to the boardwalk. Currently the tallest slide at sea, you'll want to try it at least once. Be aware there's a minimum height requirement of 44 inches and a max weight limit of 300 pounds. Next up is the Flow Rider. This is a 40 foot surf simulator and it's loads of fun. There are some height requirements for this one too. 52 inches for boogie boarding and 58 inches for the stand up. And oh, they also offer private sessions for a fee. If you brought the Rugrats along for the trip, they will love Wonder Playscape. Here, your little ones will find slides, climbing walls, games, puzzles, and endless fun. Swing by this area at night to catch the magical lighting. There's also a convenient bar situated near the Ultimate Abyss and the Flow Rider. The Wipeout Bar has you covered if you need a break from all the activities here. The Zip Line is another must do at least once activity on Wonder of the Seas. Here's a tip though, you'll need to empty everything out of your pockets and you must be wearing closed-toed shoes 
with tieable laces, no slip-ons, but there are shoes available to borrow if you forget yours. There's also a sports court here for things like basketball, volleyball, and more. And of course, there's mini golf. The course here is called Wonder Dunes, and it's super popular with the kids for obvious reasons. Cantina Fresca is the all-new bar associated with El Loco Fresh. Here, they serve up favorites like the pineapple jalapeno margarita on the rocks, or even margaritas with flavors like strawberry, mango, and passion fruit. And speaking of El Loco Fresh, this is the place for grab-and-go tacos, burritos, and quesadillas. Outdoor tables are available, or you can just take it with you. Pro tip, swing by in the morning for a crowd-free breakfast with options like scrambled eggs, hash browns, sausage, and bacon, all wrapped up in burritos or quesadillas. Who doesn't love a breakfast burrito? Social 100 is where the teens go to hang out and do teen things. This super cool area is just for the 13 to 17 year olds and it made me wish I wasn't a year or two past my teens. The teen area doesn't stop here though as they have their own private patio on deck 17 that we'll get to soon. The arcade is another spot that might appeal to a teen. It's chock full of whirring and buzzing machines. Here's a look at the other lime and coconut on Wonder. Personally, I prefer this one to the one on deck 15 as it doesn't tend to get as crowded. Hooked Seafood is a charming dining option that serves up New England style seafood for lunch and dinner. This is an upcharge eatery with mouthwatering items like Maryland crab cakes, Maine lobster rolls, and shucked oysters. If you like baked oysters, Hooked offers them three different ways. The Sweet Lounge and Coastal Kitchen on Deck 17 are above our pay grade, but here's a quick peek to give you an idea of what they are like. Now, here is a look at the very cool Social 100 patio I mentioned earlier. Ah, to be young again. I mean, there was nothing this cool when I was a teenager a few years ago. And finally, we'll close out this ship tour with another very cool place, the Sweet Sun Deck. Again, above our pay grade, but a terrific location on Wonder of the Seas. Okay, my friends, thank you for sticking with us for the whole video. We have some other awesome videos on Wonder of the Seas, and we're going to link to those down in the description of this video, but we'll also pin them to the comments so you can reach them a little easier. We will be honored to have you subscribe to Cruise Tips TV, but if you're just scrolling through, consider giving us a quick like and share this video with your friends. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.